Hey everyone, it's Calvin, also known as Romer, and this is Paper Mario the Thousand Year Door, and this is my first ever playthrough of Paper Mario the Thousand Year Door, and we're heading back to the Don. It has been quite a bit. Oh, he's sick. Is he sick? Is the Don sick? Oh, Francesca. Oh, poor boys. The big man's been sick with loneliness ever since his daughter's skedaddled. Oh, the boss Frankie is gone. The boss is in shambles. What's, uh, what a syndicate to do? That scuffy gang of a punk of thieves is stealing jobs from us left and right. Hey, but enough about um us and our stupid problems. What can we do for you? It's not really stupid. Like I kind of like the Don. I'll 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 help him out. What? Tickets for the Rizziest train around? The Excess Express? Whoa! You want tickets for that Rolling Windig? Because I'm trying to read the words slowly as well. It sounds like I'm doing like <laughs> PS2 uh, voice acting. <laughs> oh, ain't nothing we can do about that. Yeah, us giving out tickets, that's rich. You gotta talk to the boss for that. Francesca! I just can't stand seeing the boss like this. If we just knew where those uh, newlyweds was, we could take the boss to see them. I think we kind I think we do know. Right? Like, is this a situation where, like, well, no, they went off and the, they, they were, like... The last time we saw them, they were on the island together. So, like, whether it's, like, a situation where, like, they, they are there again. Like, we'll have to, we'll have to see, I suppose. <laughs> there's not, there's nothing really, uh, else that we can do about this. Let's, let's see what they, what they have to say about it, though. Hang on. Those two friendly folk, Francesca and, Fra Frankie and Francesca from Keyhole Key? Who on the what now? What did you just say? Repeat that. You know where the young Miss uh, Piata is at? Really? No lie? I swear to you, if you're lying, I will turn you into confetti, so help me. Well, if that's where she is, why don't you bring her back here, huh? Be a pal. We go ourselves, but uh, we can't leave the boss unprotected, you get me? Yeah, you bring us to that Miss Francesca, and we'll do what we can to get you your trade tickets. You got a deal? Yeah, sure. Yeah, 100%. See, now that's better. I knew once you understood a predicament, you couldn't refuse. Don't screw this up. The thing is about, like, I'm um, helping out the Don is that, like, 100% I'll do it. Like, other characters in this game, and they're like, do this for me now, it's like, okay, Jesus. But, like, the Don helped us out a lot, and, like, also he showed his true colors as actually a very nice fellow. At least a nice fellow to us, and, um, I'm willing to help him a little bit here. I guess we have to head back to Key Hall Key. Um, uh, which shouldn't be too hard to head back here, because it's actually just, like, uh, we can go on the boat, I believe, so we can just head back there now. Um... What else do we got to do here? I think... I think, yeah, well, we were talking about the, doing the pit trials, which, like, we can do at any any point, really. But let's work on this stuff first. Something about this seems way too simple, though. And knowing this game... There's gonna be some kind of roadblock that stops us, hi Luigi, that stops us from getting all the way there. There's gonna be something that, like, like prevents us from a save. I always like to see, I'm gonna save whenever I can because the save is important. It's important. Like, something's gonna stop us from bringing them back. You going to Key Alki, amigo? Excellent, my, my bueno. To the sea we go, amigo. Let's set sail. Destination Key All Key. Someone was like, oh yeah, your Latino accent sounds like an Irish accent. And like, here's the thing. It's not meant to be a Latino accent. That's what I was trying to say in the previous episodes. Like, because me trying to do a Latino accent as like a pasty Irish boy, like, is not a good idea. <laughs> like, not because of anything like, you know, bad or anything, but just like, you know, I don't have the, I don't have the experience to do that, you know what I mean? What, I have Spanish students in my class, but I'd never do impersonations of them because, like, that's super rude. So where are you guys? You're over here? So they're probably living on the island at this point. You're still living here, which is hilarious. Oh, yeah, so they said they wanted to live here anyway. So they're all upset about us. I guess we can talk to, um, this guy here. Oh, oi, I'm a Bobby. Been a while, eh? Yeah, them pinos are off in the jungle somewhere. Said they was looking for something, I think. Well, that's fine. Let's go and look for something, too. Yeah, I'm, I'm trying to hit this switch here. Thank you so much. 
Man, we have like a whole like couple, we have a whole few chapters left at least. Um, I did say, like I said, I would play Pokemon Legends Arceus uh, at some stage. I did say I would play it, and I think it might be the next. Oh, there you are. Guys, come on back. Oh, it's Mario. Oh, uh, you've been there, pal. Uh, we're doing something for you. Uh, we do something for you. What? The boss is sick? Oh, poor daddy. Oh, in a time like this. You see, I just dropped my wedding ring for uh, Frankie gave me around here. I can't possibly leave until I find that ring, otherwise something may eat it. It must be somewhere between here and that skull rock. Listen for a second, my fuzzy little coconut. We shouldn't forget about that ring. We should get forget about that ring for now and check on the balls. I agree with that, actually, yeah. How could you say that, Frankie? That ring was a symbol of our love. You have to find it. We have to. Or maybe you just don't love me anymore, is that it? Of course I love you, my little bacon burger. None of your sweet talk now. You're gonna have to say you love me to a hundred times. A hundred times? If you love me, you have to say it, Frankie. Oh, oh, come on, babe. Of course I love you, my little short stack. Now please, let's go. No, you have to say 99 more times, Frankie. Get out of here. <laughs> no. Fine, you crazy dame. I love you. 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 Ten times. I love you. 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 Please no one outside hear me saying this. I love you. 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 Jesus. I love you. 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 I like you. I love 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 you, honey. There, I said it. Oh, Frankie, baby, you're such a silly Billy. Silly Billy? He could have died. I nearly died. Now, my little creep, let's find that ring right away. What do you say? I say, oh boy, do you think these two will be quite alright by the lonesomes? I shouldn't think so. We should help them. Okay, let's go find the goddamn ring then. You, you need to be, like, like, look, uh, look, here's the thing. I understand that in any relationship, it's 30% I love this guy and 70% I want to smack him in the back of the head. <laughs> you know? I totally understand that that's what, like, like uh, a relationship can sometimes be. Uh, but, like... If anyone said to me, say I love you a hundred times over something like that, man, Jesus Christ, it's like, come on, like, like... Of course I love you, you know? Like, you're uprooting your entire lives. That's a lot. That's a lot of, uh... That's a lot. <laughs> a lot of FP. <laughs> okay, so let's uh, just do another hammer. This time let's do a power smash. I mean, like, it's cool. They have a cool relationship. And that's awesome. Oh, great. The poison didn't even hit me, because it's a fog. I d okay, okay. Here's the thing. I know people are going to be like, Calvin, it's just a game. Don't apply logic to this all the time. And I get you. But it doesn't make sense to me why a bomb misses. Can you imagine, like, dropping a bomb on, like, I don't know, like, a town? And then, then everyone being like, it missed, it was the fog. <laughs> the bomb couldn't see the fog. You know what I mean? Like, that doesn't work. You know what I mean? Like, and I think like, and the thing is like, there should be just maybe exceptions. You know, to the rule. I know some people are gonna heavily disagree. And that's cool. 
but there should be some exceptions to rules uh, when it comes to that stuff there like this, you know? At least in my opinion. I don't know, maybe in my opinion it works that much, to be honest. We got a stylish as well, which is nice. Kind of nice that we can still attack these guys. Maybe we'll still get some nice. Uh... I suppose they were just like last area enemies, so it's not. They're still gonna have some like two star points. It's not a lot though. We should be avoiding these guys as, qu as much as we can. I wonder where they would where they'd put the key though. That's the thing. Somewhere over here and the rock. Hold on a second, party. Let's break out, Daddy. Unless it's like in the bushes as well, we should then we'll, we'll, we'll walk back and check the bushes if, we, if it's not up here, if it's not in somewhere obvious. It's kind of strange that they made us come back like right back to the same place though, right? Like, is that just me who feels that strange? An in coupon? What do we get rid of? The inns aren't that expensive. Like, let's just get rid of the in coupon. They're not that expensive. It's okay. Um, let's check over here really quick. <laughs> Did he drop him on that coconut island, maybe? No, you don't need to bring me back up here. I was down there. I was down there. It's okay. I I, I forgive you, though. What? Oh, my... How about drop me down here? Yeah, let's drop you down here. How about that? How about that? Oh, wow. We did it. I'm just checking over here just to see if it's there. Yes, that's a badge we can get. And we will get that badge. It's okay. Oh, it doesn't look like it's here. We can't carry any more stuff either. Hey, Calvin, do the thing on the thing on the thing. You missed the thing on the thing. Calvin, do this right now. <laughs> Calvin, you must do this thing right now, please. I will. Don't worry about it. And he got ice power. We're not going to use it, though, probably. We're probably going to sell it. At least, like, at least, we, like, at least if we're not going to use it, we can definitely sell it. You know what I mean? That's good. Where is this ring? Is it in the trees as well? If it's in the trees, I'm going to... Oh, there it is. It's right there. Wedding ring. I mean, okay, like, let's heal up as well. Why not? It's 12 coins. We're rich. Like, we're at, we're at such a good place with money now as well. We're in such a fantastic place. I don't even mind. Why did I just get, like, this sudden urge to play Dragon Quest XI again? It's been a year since I've played it. Why did it, why did it happen? Why did it happen in my brain? Like, did you, you guys ever have that happen to you? We'll be able to, okay, try to avoid these guys as best we can. I know, I know, I know. Again, like, the thing is, like, one of the, one of the things that always kind of, uh, like, upsets me... Um... Is that sometimes it can seem like, like, I'm, like... Being, like, a little bit too critical of, like, aspects of the game when I'm talking about the backtracking or maybe, like, talking about the, uh... uh like, how, like, the enemies hitting you and stuff. But it's actually, like, the only things that I really, like have critiques of in this game are like backtracking and like the, the the lower level enemies still being brave enough to attack you. I think it would like I think it's just a good feature for modern JRPGs, I guess. That enemies who like are not as powerful will like run away from you, you know what I mean? There you go. Oh wait, that's it, that's it, that's the ring. That's the ring you found it, pal. Frankie, now we can go home to daddy. You sure can my little cheese and cracker. Let's go. Well so anyway, we'll be back down to the dock. Hurry back please. Oh yeah, I should hurry back. I should hurry back, shouldn't I? I should hurry back. Let's go, Danny.
But yeah, like I said, it's like literally my only critique of like, like my only major critiques of this game are like the backtracking and the, the like the enemies like still attacking you even though they're lower level enemies. Like I love the story. I love the characters. I love the environments. I love the music. Like I love the boss battles. Like there's so many amazing things to love about this game. Uh, but just sometimes I think just because like there is a lot of backtracking in some aspects of the game. But I think like, I think people said it's going to be non-existent coming up. Oh, come on, I think we're ready, pal. Yeah, we are. Let's go back to Rogueport. Oh, daddy, please hang on till we get there. Yeah, like, let's not, like, stop to find a ring or anything. Yeah, let's go back. Oh, the changing of the, the, the... I love that. Yeah, you have to go see your daddy immediately, for sure. You got it, Francesca. I think we have it. Like I think I think this is like like this is gonna work out. This is gonna work out for everybody. Including myself. Including myself, Calvin. <laughs> like, I don't know, like I think it's a really cool thing about the game though as well, how again the world feels complete because they don't just forget about older characters when the game goes on. It's not a situation where it's like, oh now like they're, they're out of the story completely. It's actually like really cool how like we get we get to see the characters that we knew before again. Um, because again, once again, it just makes the world feel more full. Like when you're like, like the games that like don't feel as full are like, and there is games like this that will like, once you finish a level, you'll never see that character again. You know, you'll never see the enemy again. You'll never see that type of character again. You'll never see the person that you were talking to earlier. Like, I love games that are just like, wait, we need to like hack this terminal. Who do you know that's just hacking? And you're like, oh, the guy from chapter two. And like, it just works out like that so well. Like, using the dot in this situation is perfect, because you don't need to create a new character when you already have a character in place that has those type of ideals, and has those type of, uh, not ideals, has a type of skill set. Daddy, wake up! Open your eyes! They're back. French... Jessica. Daddy! Boss! Oh, my little Francesca. You came back to me. And you too, Frankie. Of course you did, Daddy. As soon as we heard you were ill, we dropped in everything and rushed back- No, you did not! No, you did not! No, you did not! Francesca, I was wrong. I was stubborn. A stubborn old man. Forgive me. I know I may regret saying this, but I want the two of you to stay here with me. I can't bear to be away from you two crazy kids. I'm an old man, now I need peace. I guess the time has come to stop being so selfish and causing everyone trouble. Looks like even Don Beyond it, though, the dawn of the ultimately dead. A dawn of ultimately, ultim uh, untimely dead, sorry. Can't escape the old age. The time has come, everyone. I'm gonna retire. Whoa, okay. I, I support his decision. No, it's time. I mean it. And I want you to be... Frankie as a successor? I'm not sure about that. I'm not, <laughs> I'm not sure about that, but hey, why not? Why not? As today you're the new head of the 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 the, 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 the peanut uh, syndicate. What? But boss, I don't know. I think that like it's an acceptable decision to retire. Like he's saying you still got it in. You're a spring chicken. You don't got to do this. I don't know. I think it's, it's I think it's still a pretty acceptable decision. I just don't know about Frankie taking over. Maybe I'm just naive. I mean, me boss. No, you're the one, Frankie. I've been thinking about that for a long time now. You'll do just fine, kid. I got a feeling about you. A good one. I want you to take care of Francesca and the rest for the syndicate the way I did. Boss. You. Mario, looks like you do, you've done me another favor for another favor for me, kid. How oh, about that, boss? Oh, this is gonna be just be be beautiful. I know it. What do you what do you guys do? Well, we kind of promised him something, boss. We told him we'd get him a ticket for the Excess Express if he bought your daughter, uh... 
Oh, is that all you have me worried for a second? Come on over here, Mario. How many do you want? One, two, ten, help yourself. He's such a good character. Awesome, thank you. You come back anytime. Like, uh, like uh, how about that? Anytime you like, how about that? Sorry, I keep reading his lines wrong. Well, now that I've retired, I'm gonna get out of here. Daddy. Boss. You're the boss now, Frankie. You got that? You the boss. You do good now, Frankie. That's, um, that's a nice conclusion to this story, like a nice bow on it as well. Frank, we got lots of work to do, and don't worry, I'll keep you in line. Sweet bean, come on. Knock it off with the pet names nonsense, will you? Call me Francesca. Huh? F -f 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 Francesca? Yes, or Miss Boss. Oh, she's gonna be the- Okay, that makes much more sense. Underboss. Uh, I mean, boss, you got a loyalty. We'll be on your side when you need this, boss. Thank you so much, Mario, for everything. Uh, you're welcome here anytime you like, bro uh, brother. You're like a brother to me. I can't- Why do I can't read these guys' lines anymore? You ain't bad, kiddo. Yeah, you ever think about joining up with the syndicate? It's the life, kid. Sure, we'll end the game right here. Let's go. Danny, you have anything to say? No? That's fair enough, Danny. Not everything has to be a big hubba baloo. Danny's like, I don't need to talk about every single thing in this game. Not all the time. That's not what uh, has to happen all this time. Wait, oh, hold on. Yes, 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 we can go to Parsley Heights, yes. That six crystal stars is good as ours. Wait, who is that? I heard that, my uglies. What? They're here? So the six crystal star is in the Parsley Heights, is it? That's a rather nice piece of information. Thanks ever so. Is that Beldum? It is. Oh, I wish we had Vivian out. That would have been so good. You're the Bel Beldum. Normally, this will be where I finally deal with you, and that homely traitor, Vivian. Vivian uh, is better than you in every way. But something tells me that trying to, uh, that alone might be unwise, so you live for now. Instead, I'll just beat you to Porsche Heights and get that crystal star before you do. This is trouble. I wish we had Vivian now. I wonder what she would have said. Actually, no, maybe it's good that she's not here. She doesn't have to face her yet if she doesn't want to. Well, I said it bad. We gotta get the Porsche Heights before that witch. Let's make tracks for Rogue Court Station. Yes, let's make tr tracks for Rogue Port Station. Let's make tracks. But still, though, like... I don't know why I don't have Vivian out all the time, anyway. Greatest character in the world. Best character of all time, really. Well, this game... Like, what's funny about when the frame rate, like, dr drops here... Like, right now, we're at, like, 30 FPS. The game obviously gets slower. Like, that's what happens. So your character feels like it's walking through kind of molasses sometimes. Uh, right, you know, like, say, like, right now, we're back to, like, 60. You know what I mean? So, like, it feels pretty smooth to walk around the place and do stuff like that. Um, but, like, it all, dep all depends on, what like, where we are. Like, the places that are, like, very heavily populated tend to, like, do that. Which is fair enough. That's fair enough. That's super fair enough. Okay. Do we have anyone else? Do we have anyone else? Oh, we don't have enough sprites. Okay, that's fine. I, 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 I was trying to think of back if we got any sprites or if we could get any sprites. So now we have to, like, make our way to Poshley Heights. Which is going to be the next chapter of this game. And I'm pretty gosh darn excited to see what it's going to be like, to be honest. I'm pretty gosh darn excited at this point. Especially since, like... Oh, that's not the right way. Especially since it's a, supposedly supposed to be, like, a very, like, fancy place. And now that we have a new outfit as well, like, we're looking pretty fancy. You know what I mean? We're not... We're, we're looking pretty okay. I'm kind of excited to see, like, see what it looks like. So we only like we only ever see these things on the map before they then appear right in front of us. But like, I guess we have to go up this way. Let's save the game as well, just in case. Did I? That's great. <laughs> Mew. Do I get on here? Yes, I have a train ticket. Thank you so much. I mean, if we're gonna do the the pit stuff, we might do it in like in an upcoming episode because we can head back at any time. I think as well, like it's not a thing where we're trapped here in the, in these places. We can head back.
And then begins the next chapter. Chapter 6. Three days of excess. Already being on chapter 6 feels strange. Oh, this is so nice. I love train cabins like this. But like, I've never been in a train cabin where you can sleep in it though. Wow, the Excess Express this is really nice, Mario. The three days to Poshley Heights are gonna seem like nothing. Oh. Yeah, <laughs> true. Huh? Mario, there's something lying on the floor, I think. I didn't notice it before. Don't pick it up, don't pick it up there, Vivian. Don't go to Poshley Heights, get off the train now or a sticky, yummy, sticky, yummy doom awaits. <gasps> what does it even mean? Oh no, a weird threat. Could it be Belden's work? My sister is a weird one. Whoever it is, it's obvious that they're on this train somewhere, right? We have to find who's responsible for anything crazy happens. Oh, yeah. Um... I don't know if it's Beldum. I don't really need the dried shroom. You can have it. Um, you can have it. Oh, but there's this here. Didn't even see it there. Can we also climb, can we climb the ladder? Like, the thing is, though, like, we're on a freaking train. This is gonna be so cool. This is gonna be so much fun. This is gonna be so, so much fun. I'm kind of excited to see, like, where, like... I'm, like, looking out the side as well. Oh, Vivian's... Oh, my God, look at this. Watch it, watch it. Watch it. Is, that, is, that, is that something she does naturally? Like, when you're higher up? She, like, stretches? That's neat. That's a neat little touch. Vivian, that's a nice touch. Well done, Vivian. Vivian, that's the praise you get for being so cool. Yes, you are. You're very cool. And I guess, like, for that... We're going to end the video here, and we're going to come back in the next one and make our way to Poshley Heights. But I, don't, I wonder what we're going to be doing on the train, though, in general. That's the funny thing. Like, I'm kind of excited to see, like, exactly what this... Well, I'm, my guess is it's going to be a place of decadence. It's going to be a place where, like, they're using... They're, they're, they're doing stuff in excess that they don't need to do. Um, we'll see. We'll see exactly what it is.